Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much will depend on your location. Please join in this struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Monday, the 26th day of February 2024. I bring you news update. Nigerians rain courses on the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu. Yes. Now, that is what is happening now. Yes. The Nigerian people, particularly the youths, they have fixed February 25th, 2024, as a day to rent courses on the annex chair. Yes, according to the youths. They stated that Mahmoud subverted the votes of the people in a bid to make Bola Tinubu to win the 2023 presidential election. They stated that the duly elected president in the polls was Peter Obi. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, calling it a national prayer day in Nigeria, and the team is caused by Mahmoud Yakubu, Babatunde Badamosi, and X Spread. Quote May every cause pronounced upon Mahmoud Yakubu's head today operate in his life forever. May the money he took to rig the elections be a reproach to him and anyone else who benefits from that money. May he spend it on problems that cannot be addressed by money. May God Almighty hear the cries of Nigerians regarding this man and hearken to our voices. May every calamity suffered by Nigerians at the hands of Tinibu be amplified and multiplied in his household. May the tragedies visited upon Nigeria by his actions be the staple in his household. If it pleases the Lord, may his prayers and, many, and any prayers on his behalf be as abominations before God. May all the pronouncements on his head by Nigerians and all the calamities to befall him also be upon every single person who worked with him to subvert the will of Nigerians. End of quote. Okay, so, this is what they are doing. The youths, the young people, they are running courses on him. Yes. He, this Badamosi also ran courses on corrupt annex staff, where he said, quote, From corrupt directors and commissioners, federal and states of at annex Nigeria, to crooked up corporators who worked as polling officers and falsified figures or sabotaged the elections in any way, to police officers and thugs who harassed, maimed, and killed Nigerians to steal the votes of Nigerians or to prevent Nigerians from voting, may they all partake in any calamity that will befall Mahmoud Yakubu. End of quote. For a social media influencer simply identified on X as Nefertiti, she prayed thus, Mahmoud Yakubu has to deny Nigerians their choice on February 25th. May Allah deny you Jana. May sickness which money can't cure visit you. May the calamity and hunger you forced on Nigerians visit your entire family to the seventh generation and remain permanently. I pray a special prayer for you today. May the blessings of Allah depart from you. You will never see Jana. You will look for the cure and find none. As you denied Nigerians their choice, may Allah deny you all your hard desires. That's what she said. Now another user, Lawrence Okun. Also prayed thus, say for the INEC boss, may the hardship that Mahmoud Yakubu has forced on Nigerians reflect in his heart. May his last days on earth be slow and painful. Yakubu, for the rubbish you did one year ago today, cancer that money cannot cure, pain that doctors cannot explain and fear the Nigerian military, police, DSS and civil defense cannot keep you from, is your portion. You will cry and no one will answer you. The water you drink will not refresh you. The food you eat and the air you breathe will work against you. You show the destiny of the nation and cause pain to millions of Nigerians. The destiny of your children is sold. You are cursed when you sleep. You are cursed when you wake up. You will run even when no one is pushing you. You and your entire generation will not see peace. That's what he said. That's uh, now Mr. Nonso, citing the Holy Bible, also prayed for the Anak boss using the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 23, 
which says, And thy heaven that is over the head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Other causes present on the Anak boss include Moscow Ebers, where he said, No human or spirit will be able to break the causes that have been placed upon Mahmoud Yakubu today. Sickness that will render his money useless will kill him. Sorrows and pains will never depart from the lineage of Mahmoud Yakubu. Now, happiness Eric stated that the Anak boss manipulated the Arab to favor his desired candidate, and she said, for turning off the Arab, Mahmoud Yaqub, may God turn off your entire happiness. Your peace will be turned off. Your health will be turned off. Your finances will be turned off by sickness that money can't heal. And your life will be turned off in a very miserable and painful way. For Victor Israel, he prayed thus, Mahmoud Yaqub, the next chairman, for the 2023 general election, you will labor in vain. Sickness will take away all your sweat before taking you. The soil you walk on has become a curse to you and your lineage. The air you breathe has become a curse to you and your lineage. While one other stated that Nigerians will celebrate the day Mahmoud Yakubu will die, and excuse your opinion that cursing Mahmoud will not solve the myriad of problems Nigeria is facing. That's what he said. Say cursing Mahmoud will not solve the problem. Someone said it. And that is true. The energy Nigerians are dissipating on Mahmoud, they should have used it for something meaningful. Yes, to talk about their liberation. Their liberation. We have seen that they are Nigerians, they are expressing their anger and the smudge. The anger. So uh, they want a better society, they want a better country. But to have a better country in Nigeria is not going to work. Yes. It's not entirely Mahmoud's uh, problem. As that user said, said Nigerians should work for stronger institutions, not just because of uh, you know, personality of the INEC chairman, but Nigerians have weaker institutions. Corruptions are eating too deep to the fabrics of the institutions. And there's nowhere to make it work again. Yes, the best thing for the country is to divide it. People go their separate ways. So the youth should talk of more of, you know, coming together for a sovereign national conference, going back to the basis, the fundamentals. Yes, the country must re-establish itself. The fault lines are much. The fault lines, they are much. The rift is big that it's impossible to cover it. The gulf that divides uh, the ethnic nationalities, they are too big and wide. Nothing will cover it. No sentiment. Yes. So that's what you should be talking about. After all, there are people who are trying to, you know, come against the youth now. They call themselves CSO, civil society organizations. They want to make their, their own prayers as well in favor of uh, Balatinibu. Or well, not just Balatinibu, but uh, Yakubu Mahmoud. Yes. Yakubu Mahmoud, they want to make their prayers in favor of him, said that he did wonderfully well. He conducted the best election, rank of free election. And so they will set a day for prayer for him. Oh yes. So to counter what these guys, the youth have done. Yes. And so that is it. They call themselves CSO, whereas they are, you know, Tinibu's errand boys. So these things, the youth have to realize this. What are you chasing? You are chasing shadows. When you said, oh, look, there's nothing my mood will do. There's, you know, his, the system is bad. The country is corrupt. The leaders are corrupt. Yes? So, the best thing for Ndibo is to continue to chart the cause for freedom. Referendum, liberation for themselves. Forget about this presidency. Oh, it will be this. No, nothing will change this thing. Nigeria is cursed. People have said it. Even the religious leaders have said it. So, are you going to stay in that cursed country and be cursing a human being? So, Mahmoud is cursed already because he's a Nigerian leader. Yes, all of them are cursed. Save the masses, the masses. All the Nigerian leaders are cursed. When you say Nigeria is cursed, we are talking about leaders. The leaders. They are cost people. 
They have destroyed the country. So the masses should realize this and know that you're operating on a cost you know, environment and therefore the best thing for you to you know, isolate yourself. So they should talk about their freedom, their liberation, not of uh, P2B, a winning Nigerian president, to not solve any problem. Yes, one is that they have seen how difficult it will be.